This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com and I'm just doing a impromptu video to highlight one of a, a recent stock pick, a Mwad.com stock pick in the name of a MCZ. Uh, stock's up about 21%. Uh, I think it's more than, it's rallied more than 120% this month. Uh, so it's been a great mover for anybody who owns it. Uh, we've been playing the stock ever since it broke out, I think above a dollar a uh, dollar six cents or one or six and it's now today's high was at um, two or three so in about two three weeks in fact, actually I think in about a week and a half the stock has almost doubled now that's a big move I mean I, I was expecting it to do something if it followed through the breakout you know you never really know and guys here's the thing is you don't know because on the same day I think I had one more other pick and the other pick hasn't done much so you never really know all, all like all i'm trying to show you is that great stocks have the same look the same film the same chart setup uh this is by now you know it's the ultimate more the breakout all great stocks are gonna have that i don't know why but that that's just how it is um so i want to do a little bit of a retake of this stock mcz why the stock is up uh let me take a look at um look at it here MCZ I think it is a technology name so let me go under my here it is and we'll take a look at it from a monthly view and you see for the month the stock is up 126 percent and we were playing the stock ever since it broke out above a dollar and two cents for, uh, excuse me I'd said one or six but one or two was a breakout so the stock has practically doubled in about uh, let's take a look at the weekly on this one since this has been a great move great move um, and the weekly on this one you see it broke out here about 115 so this is week two of the breakout um, and I was you know thinking and and what attracted me to the stock is of the fact and foremost that we have this angle of penetration you want to find stocks that have these sharp moves, especially when they are moving above 69.10. Again, look at that angle of penetration above 69.10. Again, look at the angle of penetration above 61.10. In other words, let me try again. This is a straight line, and if this line represents 69.10 on the daily on any chart any chart setup daily weekly monthly hourly it doesn't matter but if you see a stock that has a tendency of moving above this level here we're looking at the weekly if you see a prior move that is it enters this area above 69.10 if it enters it on a lower penetration like that the stock is not going to do great especially on a weekly chart eh, it ain't going to do great it's going to rally but eh, if you have but all you're looking for is an angle slightly above 45 degrees if you can get stocks that move above 69.10 with sharp angles of penetration what i call angle of penetration uh, you're going to be making money and as you can see here we have a sharp angle of penetration and again before this this is now this is before it broke out but i was already highlighting the stock to subscribers because i had already seen the stock had potential just the potential because you never know of moving back again above 69.10 with a sharp move and it was confirmed I don't know where the market is the stock is gonna close today is a Tuesday I don't know where it's gonna close for the week but all you can see is that just by knowing the angle of penetration we were able to uh, to find a stock that had a good move. remember even when it moved above this angle of penetration here in November the stock broke out from above 45 cents all the way to a dollar thirty now, that's a big move that's almost three times all right so don't joke with that move so that angle of penetration here which was this move here foretold of a big move so I know this uh, this is proprietary stuff uh, my own discoveries but these are the things that make stocks move now if we go back and look at this stock just from a daily see what the daily looks like um, I don't know what the, what, um, it's just a great looking chart. I mean, 
up 22% today. Uh, again, look at the angles of penetration, my friends. Just the little subtle things. Look at this angle of penetration here, which was repeated. And this is when it's moving above 69.10. Look at the same angle of penetration was seen there. And this angle of penetration confirmed in the last two, three days. And that's why subscribers are making money on this pick just because of the, look at this angle of penetration here same angle of penetration here um, so watch out for those angles of penetration it tells you that between two stocks if you can find one that has a higher angle of penetration and everything else is the same on the stock the one with the highest angle of penetration might be the one that is going to stage a big move but now why don't I uh, take us let me pause this for a second I'll be back one second in resuming the video what I want to point out is why is this stock doing so great is you'll notice this is a three-year monthly chart and n number one we were having a breakout after one month of rest remember on the monthly chart you always want just one month of rest on the daily on the weekly chart you want two weeks of rest so on the monthly at least one month of rest before the next breakout on the weekly at least two weeks of a break before the next breakout Okay, that's why on the weekly I call that a week four breakout, and they're very powerful. But you see that this RSI on the monthly is the all-time high for for this stock, and you always want to go for the stock that is going to give you a all-time monthly high. You see, when I was recommending this stock, I had already seen that it had not really moved above um, 70, and any attempt that was successful if successful like it has been would mean that the stock would take off and this is exactly what we are seeing here this anticipation my anticipation that the stock would break out and move and make all-time highs on its monthly chart then again even if it was making all-time highs on a three-year monthly chart that's okay but in this particular case I believe if I go back let me see what the, go back 10 years on this stock see what we get all right so 10 years you see the stock is at an all-time high going back 10 years but I want to look at it from um, let's go back 20 years so it's, look you might have you might be looking at five stocks at one time and you don't know which one to buy it's these little things you see, I knew that if the stock was to break out again above 102, that it would be moving the stock to an all-time monthly RSI high. The stock started trading sometime in 19, late 1999. And yet, over the last what 11 years, stock has never been above this level. So, the reason why it's up 126, it's because it is at its most bullish level ever technically hence the price surge now take a look at things like volume is the heaviest take a look at the fact that um, uh, on balance volume is at the heaviest um, performance against the S&P 500 at a stop at a steep price at least it's and that's look the more the breakout only considers the RSI and the monthly MACDs and look at this they were making all-time all highs here and this one is making a three-year high on the MACD so uh, go back and look at the ultimate more the breakout I'm sure by now you've mastered it but this is again again now you'll notice that even though the stock we are talking about the 120 percent move the stock in actuality was making three-year highs s somewhere here These two levels was making a three-year high. So really, if you are buying the stock, the stock based on um, on the on the three-year three-year RSI making an all-time high or a three-year high, you would have been interested in the stock when it was trading below one dollar. There was a time there a couple of weeks ago when I was about to buy the stock for my own portfolio. Now, I never bought the stocks. I don't own it. Wish I was owning it. This goes to show you that even though I recommended this stock to you subscribers, I was I favored other stocks. 
see what I'm saying? And it is important to understand that the best I can do or you can do is really put your money in similar situations. Now, I had no guarantee that this one was going to do so well. But what guarantee that I know I have is that for a stock to do great, it has to give me the ultimate mother breakout. Now, the stocks that I own and probably you own, if they're still above the breakout levels that I've recommended, then they are also performing ultimate mother breakouts. They might be slower movers. The sector might be cooling off. There's so many variables. But what I know and what you should know is that great stocks always have the same look and feel. And that look and feel is what I call the ultimate mother breakout. And if you, if you take a look at my swedge breakout videos, you'll notice the stock was breaking out from a wedge type formation here. Oops, somewhere there. It was breaking. You can even say there was a breakout level at that point and another breakout level somewhere there. In other words, the stock has been of interest ever since it was trading in the 80 cents, 70 cents area. You know, just because the RSI was breaking to a three year monthly high. Um, if I take a look at now, just a little bit, take a look at the weekly chart see what it's doing just to again take that off the weekly chart now remember the the more the breakout this is a more the breakout it is a weekly chart breakout a more the breakout not the ultimate more the breakout but the more the breakout needs a weekly breakout to new highs you want the rsi going back above 69.10 going back within the last six months the last uh, yeah six months you want the stock to have been trading above 69 at least once in the last six months and that's correct even in this condition the more the breakout demands an increment in volume during the breakout got it you want the on balance volume to move to a new high got it you want the rsi you want the performance against the s p 500 to move to new highs got it so the ultimate mother breakout does not concern itself with the MACDs. I mean, the, the mother breakout, the original mother breakout, which I'm going to do a video here in the coming weeks about, concerns itself with the performance against the S&P 500 moving to a new high, on balance volume, surging to a new high, volume on the weekly chart spiking as the stock breaks out. And you also want a revisit of the stock moving above, above 69.10 um, and it should have also done that at least six months prior to the most recent breakout. Like in this, this is a perfect example. The reason why the stock is moving is because it, it meets, one, the ultimate Moade breakout, and two, because it met the, the original Moade breakout. So basically, if you can stick your nose in the My Secrets part of these websites, what I'm sharing with you is lifelong uh, lesson. This is something you can take to your grave. I can guarantee you these principles are not going to, are not are not getting old. They're not getting obsolete. In fact, if anything, I am surprised that now in my ninth year as a paid subscription website, the same things are still moving stocks. All right. This is E R I C Eric Moade with Moade.com. Just an update as an ongoing update on the My Secrets tab. Hope you're enjoying it. Peace and blessings.